This video explains the different types of copyright works. There are four types and they are set out in section 32 of the Copyright Act. You will also need to consult section 10 of the Act, which is the definition section. The first category of works is literary works. As Justice Peterson stated in University of London Press and University Tutorial Press, the words literary work cover work which is expressed in print or writing irrespective of whether the quality or style is high. In other words, a work does not have to be literary in the sense of literature to fall within this category. The category simply covers works expressed in writing. In University of London Press, the court held that exam papers could constitute literary works. So this category generally covers things like books, poems, letters and essays. Literary work is defined in section 10 of the Act to include a table or compilation expressed in words, figures or symbols. This covers things like databases, timetables and catalogues. A common issue that arises with these types of literary works is that of originality, which is addressed in a separate video. Literary work is also defined to include a computer program or compilation of computer programs. Computer program is itself defined in section 10 as a set of statements or instructions to be used directly or indirectly in a computer in order to bring about a certain result. This definition covers source code, that is the human readable code, and object code, or the machine readable code. The second category of works is dramatic works. Dramatic works are generally those works intended to be performed. Section 10 defines dramatic works to include a scenario or script for a cinemagraphic film. It does not include the film itself though, that is covered as a distinct subject matter. It seems as though the categories of literary works and dramatic works will have some overlap, though this is not specifically addressed in the Act. A script for a film or play may fall within both categories. Section 10 also provides that a dramatic work will also include a choreographic show or other dumb show. In other words, it may include a mime show or a show without dialogue. In such cases, the expression of the dramatic work is likely to be in the form of stage directions or a description of the actions to be performed. The next category is musical works. This category protects the non-literary elements of a song, such as the melody, harmony and rhythm. So it will cover the musical notation or score, but not song lyrics. Lyrics will be a literary work. The last category of works is artistic works. Artistic works are those works expressed visually. Just as with literary works, for most types of artistic works, the work's artistic quality or aesthetic appeal is not relevant. Section 10 defines artistic works to include paintings and sculptures, drawings and engravings, and photographs. Drawings are defined in section 10 to include diagrams, maps, charts and plans. Sculptures may be artistic works even if they are functional. However, they must have been created for an artistic purpose and by an artist's hand. In Lucasfilm and Ainsworth, Justice Mann used the example of a pile of bricks on display at an art gallery. This, he said, is clearly capable of being a sculpture, even though the exact same pile of bricks at the end of a driveway in preparation for a building project would not be a sculpture. The difference between the two piles of bricks lies in their purpose. The first is created by the hand of an artist for an artistic purpose, and so is an artistic work. The definition of artistic work in section 10 also includes buildings and models of buildings. Building is defined in section 10 as a structure of any kind. This definition has a wide ambit. 
Thus, a half-court tennis court has been held to be a building under the Act, as has a fiberglass swimming pool. Finally, artistic works include works of artistic craftsmanship, such as items crafted from wood or silver, pottery, and tapestries. Works of artistic craftsmanship are the only works for which a judgment is made about aesthetic appeal. This judgment is made objectively and not by reference to the author's intent. The aesthetic appeal need not rise to the level of fine art, but it must be more than mere visual appeal. A work of artistic craftsmanship does not have to be handmade. It can be made with the use of a machine, however, the author must exercise creative skill in using the machine. The main case on works of artistic craftsmanship is Burge and Swarbrick. This case involved a handcrafted, full-scale model of the hull and deck sections of a yacht, known as a plug. The High Court on Appeal held that the plug was not a work of artistic craftsmanship. They said that the work's artistic expression must be unconstrained by functional considerations. In this case, the shape and design of the plug was dictated by functional concerns such as aerodynamics and speed, and was not purely an artistic choice. Adaptations of literary, dramatic and musical works will be new works in their own right if they possess a sufficient degree of originality. This may even be the case where the adaptation is infringing. Adaptation is defined in section 10 to include translations, producing a dramatic work from a literary work, such as adapting a book to a screenplay, and versions of computer programs.